What if I told you I just got done watching a movie about Pop-Tarts? Not talk about breakfast cereal. Talk about Pop-Tarts. Not a breakfast cereal. Pop-Tarts. So Jerry Seinfeld just made his directorial debut on Netflix, and I watched it. And I have some thoughts for you, folks. Before you go and watch this, I am severely confused as to what I just saw. It could have been, it's probably one of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life. Yet at the same time, it might have been so bad that it is good. Very disturbing. I have some thoughts about it. Before we move on, I'd really like to ask, like and subscribe. I always forget to, I'm watching videos, I, I, I hear some thoughts that I like, and I always forget to like and subscribe. So I would really appreciate it if you did that. Thank you. But let's get on to Jerry Seinfeld. Let me describe this to you. Back, I'm going to assume it was the 1960s, they decide to... For some reason, Jerry Seinfeld decided that he was going to make some sort of fictitious, vaguely historical mockumentary. I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like that that Air movie where they talk about uh, Jordan, and you know, it's like one of those pseudo. It's like a spoof, I guess, of like those those dramatizations of historical events. Except this is about the creation of the Pop Tart. So it's really about the two companies in Battle Creek, Michigan, Kellogg's and Post, and them fighting over the making of Pop-Tarts. But it's so stupid, I can't even tell you. But but let's look at what everybody else thinks about it, and then I'll, I'll give you some of my direct thoughts about it. Jerry Seinfeld's Unfrosted Divides Critics, one of the decade's worst movies. Strong reviews. Let's just look here. Uh, it, it, it's so bizarre. So, a zany. It's got so many celebrities in it. It's ridiculous. It's got Melissa McCarthy, Jim Gaffigan, Hugh Grant, Amy Schumer, Max Greenfeld, Christian Slater, Sarah Cooper, Bill Burr. Bill Burr plays JFK. How does that sit on you? How does that land? Jim Gaffigan is pretty good, but also ridiculous. Like, it's just, it's kind of like that Rick and Morty type of humor where it's just like joke after joke after joke, but none of the jokes land. Uh, Peter Dinklage is in this. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Mikey Day from SNL. He was actually kind of kind of amusing. So the Chicago Sun-Times declares it's one of the decade's worst movies. I'm surprised Seinfeld, one of the sharpest and most observant comedic minds of his generation, didn't halt the production halfway through, call time of death, and apologize to everyone for wasting their time. Uh, Unfrosted is so consistently awful, it makes affirmation flame and hot seem like the social network. <laughs> this is pretty... Uh, the Daily Globe and Mail called it one big steaming pile, a laugh, distress, laugh, distressingly laugh-free affair, like a long, long-lost Lorne Michaels produced SNL feature from the 1990s. The Daily Beast called it and the film as bad as you'd expect. Collider said, considering in a world where Barbie can make 1.4 billion dollars and become a commentary on femi feminism and the patriarchy, um. It's a shame Unfrosted doesn't try a little bit harder. I mean, that's that's actually pretty nice compared. It's super, like, cringy. Just everything is... They say he's a really good director. I mean, I guess it looked like a movie. It wasn't, like, the worst movie I've ever seen. Like, from a strictly directing standpoint... But it's just so unfunny. Apparently, some people liked it. I cannot believe any of them. It's just, it's it's ri ridiculously bad. Uh, some of the highlights that I can think of. Some of the highlights. So, like I said, Bill Burr plays JFK. That's pretty ridiculous. Not super funny. Amy Schumer at this point is difficult to even look at. 
let alone laugh at. I I don't know what's going on with her health wise or her face or if she's on drugs or what is going on, but she looks like she's a, a balloon ready to explode. And not in like she's so fat type way, just she looked like she got stung by too many bees and is going to explode or needs an epinephrine pin like or needle. I I, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, you, yeah, I'm gonna kind of spoil a couple jokes here. They literally bring in Don Draper from Mad Men, the actor who and he and he's playing his character Don Draper. I forget the char- the the actor's name off the top of my head. But he comes in to do an ad campaign for the frost for the stupid pop tart. It's un so unfunny. They have some guy some guy from SNL playing Chef Boyardee. They have all Hugh Grant plays Tony the Tiger, and at some point there's there's a January sixth reference. There's a January 6th joke that makes no sense. It, it comes out of nowhere. And you're just like, oh, are they taking a side on January 6th? Are they saying it's bad? Are they saying it's good? Are they No, they just have a guy dress up like like it's January 6th. It's, does this make no sense? There's literally a funeral where they go, that this man is going to be buried with full serial rights. Like, and his widow is there. And she's like, what? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> And they pour cereal and milk into his coffin, where they just lowered him into, and his coffin floats to the surface. And the the wife is literally like, what is going on here? Why are you doing this? And no one can answer her. No one gives her anything. They're just like, yeah, this is normal. And it's just not funny. They even have the stupid snack. The stupid Rice Krispies mascot screaming in her face, snap, crackle, and pop. And she's like, why is this happening? It felt like I was yelling at the screen through this character. Why is this happening? It's just unfathomably bad. And there's also ridiculously dumb CGI for zero reason. No reason at all. No reason at all. Okay, let's, let's, I want to read a couple of reviews that I thought I saw. Here we go. These are not fan reviews. Well, I guess fan is is a stretch. Uh, But I thought these were pretty hysterical. And they they come from IMDb. I fell asleep in the middle of the day watching this movie, which I don't think I've ever done, even, (laughs) even for the worst movie. And given that I laughed at all the fart jokes, particularly Jerry running the gauntlet of the aisle in his subsequent PTSD shower, and the first four times I watched the original, a completely goofy Austin Powers movie, I don't think the problem is that. It's just, uh, basically, he gave one star. He's, here's another one. This is painful. 108 minutes in and begging for the end. It took me two days to watch this. I literally got like 45 minutes in or an hour in, and I'm just like, I cannot continue in good faith to watch this. I did finish it, but holy cow. Um, everything I read had me welcoming Seinfeld's debut feature. And, uh, oh dear, this overproduced saccharine slick mess was shockingly bad. It's a, it is a string of gags that did not produce a single organic laugh. I just, I don't even, I don't understand how this even came to be. Here's a couple. It's great. You either, like most comedy, you either get it or you don't. You people are insane if you think this is funny. It's so long and so pointless. And I, 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 don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just one of those people where you either love it or you hate it. Unfrosted. Unfunny. Beware the trailer is a big setup for a big letdown. Some people really liked it. I, I don't understand. It, it just... It's not campy enough, and none of the jokes are funny. And holy cow, I just, I don't know. You you guys got to, here's what I've been telling people. I recommend this movie just so you can see one of the worst movies that has ever been made. And maybe I'm totally wrong, and I'm, I'm not the world's biggest Seinfeld fan, but I there was enough funny people in this to make it seem like it was funny. And it, it oh, 
it ends in a really dumb dance number, which I'm pretty sure Steve Carell's been doing for like the past 20 years. Why is Seinfeld ripping off his dance number bit? Like, why is that a thing? I, I don't understand. Watch it. Tell me what you think. I am beyond like the he, Seinfeld has lost the plot on this one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. Uh, hit the notification bells and buttons and whistles and all that other jazz. We also have a podcast we'd love for you to check out. It is free. It's on iTunes. You can also catch the live stream here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday nights, come join the party. Plus, we do it on Rumble as well. We love everybody who's on Rumble. They're out there. Just pay us more money. Join. We do have memberships. Uh, if you want to support the channel, we'd really greatly appreciate it. But I am on to the next one. Talking about Pop-Tarts.